Well, you know, I know we walked walked them through and we've done this together of how what is enough, you know. So maybe we can kind of talk a little bit about how we get that to that number. You know, I try to get from from my side of it before we sort of transfer it to you to say is is that really enough? Is you know to get them to give me three numbers seems to work fairly well. Although it becomes chicken and egg. Yeah. You know, it becomes, there's a low number that you wouldn't never take any less than that. There's a medium number that's probably pretty good. And then there's a hell yeah number that I'll take tomorrow. And I find when I can get those three numbers. Now the challenge I always have is, well, I guess I get comments like, I guess that depends on what it'll sell for. And, and then I have to come back. But in their defense, I think they need to really analyze that and, and, so I know your your firm does a good job of doing that. And so, you know, I kind of like the what is the the needs and wants bucket. You sort of take them through. Why don't you yeah. talk about that? So, a so let's bit. talk about that. You know, everybody has needs. It's your basic needs. It's your housing, your food, um, you know, things that you actually have to cover every month. No matter how much money you have, that's what you have to cover. And we break down that concept to, okay, what is the rest of your life live? Come up with, you know, an average maturity when they're going to pass away, when the wife is going to pass away, how much money do they need to really cover those needs? And, you know, looking at, Hey, do you need to have any medical issues, things like that, that can come into play at the end. So that's kind of the needs bucket. And I make sure that, you know, we cover that and how much money does it take? So we go through the exercise of, if you have this much money, this will be enough to cover the medical bills, the food bill, the light bill, Bill, so you won't ever have to worry about that because the thing you want them to really feel comfortable, that's in the need bucket that's in a need bucket mm-hmm. that is there it has to be there we have to put enough money in that bucket to cover those needs okay so that's the first step in anybody selling the business okay and that's still not the low number because they still have wants and the <laughs> wants is i want to travel in europe for a month or two or whatever every year i want to go hunting on some exotic you know, trip. I want to take my kids. I want to do whatever. You know, that's the wants bucket. And what I tell everybody is the needs bucket is going to be covered every year. The wants bucket, it can get big or small, depending on how much money we get for the business and then how much money I make you over the our firm makes you over the long term. So, you know, getting that concept down to them on day one really helps them get into that bottom number because we want to make sure that we cover the needs and then we cover most of the wants there. Mm-hmm. 